What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? Today guys are prefer to be different, but first There we go, but Anyway, I have just been listening to a record, uh, one of the Beatles records for a pretty good amount of the day and John and I are about to go play outside and honestly a lot has happened um, just in general over the past while um, I haven't recorded anything and I don't know I just I, I don't know why but I just haven't had the urge to record anything but now I want to record something and just post something to make a video but as you guys can see it is currently 1226 and the clock used to be over there and now it's over here so I did like a little bit of a room switch up but yeah so it is currently March break and I was supposed to go to Italy I was supposed to be in Italy right now and obviously um, I'm not in Italy so due to the coronavirus and everything that is going on in the world I wasn't able to go to Italy, so I am home, and we have this week off, which is March break, and then as of right now, another two weeks after that, so we're off school for three weeks right now, and we go back April 6th as of now, but it could change because Saskatchewan and Alberta have closed their schools for the rest of the year, so it's, it's interesting to see everything happening, but there has been a lot change up in my room so on my like desk here we have my computer with my headphones just with spotify open i have my clock just like i guess camera stuff here little eye dog um over here we have the ps2 my journals um just gum pens camera and then here was like a little photography project the records that i worked on and here's just like my little canadian tire money that's like a joke and then i have um right here i have my little guitar well not little but just like my guitar i have camera stuff over here and then over here on this little like bureau here i have a game here an ipad here it's like a like um i use it for music and i can connect it to any of my speakers in my room or my um record player my alexa or anything and then i have tripods here and then just glasses here and then right here i have curling so i could play curling in my room and then as of course i, I never change this up but I have all my camera gear over here with just my Alexa. And then the little bit of a change up has happened over here. So in this corner now I put my iPad even though it's charging over there. I put it here and I watch Netflix using the speaker. And then yesterday I created a light. Well I didn't really create a light. But it's like a purple light if you guys can see it's kind of purple. And um, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it looks kind of purple. And I, as you, let me see if I can turn it off. See how it's like that? And I put a little filament thing around the light. So it's kind of like a vibe thing here. And then I have just this like normal and I keep them on. And then actually it really looks cool at night because I have these lights on. And then I have this light on as well with this. And it, it looks really cool now that, I don't know, I just kind of changed my room up a bit and just made it, I guess, I don't know, it's kind of like a vibe room in a way. And then over here I have my record player with the record that I'm listening to is the Beatles, uh, 1962 to 1966. This is one of my dad's old records and it's really cool if I, if you just put it on the track. And as you see, like that's really cool. But I'll get copyrighted for that. So let me see. Yep, don't want to get copyrighted. But then over here is pretty much my charging station. So I have my iPad charging right now, my AirPods charging right now. Then pretty much all the old stuff that I have. And then just like my jewelry box with a bunch of jewelry in it. And then, um,. In here, I just have a bunch of watches and stuff. So, my room is kind of like organized, but not really. It's like a an organized the way that I like it. 
it's pretty much like I said, like a vibe room before. I just overall, I don't know. I just really like my room right now, and it's kind of like I have like pretty much three different spots: my desk here, then like over here with like a game, and then like Spotify over there on the iPad, then here like with just curling, and then in the corner over there with my iPad that I I just usually put on the Chromebook because like the Chromebook's not working, but. Um, it'll eventually, the Chromebook will be my MacBook because I'm getting a MacBook soon, which should be exciting. So, I don't have to use my mother's MacBook anymore. But yeah, so, John and I are about to go outside and play hockey. So, I'll catch you guys back from that. So... It is now a couple days later, I think. It is currently Monday, and it is the week after March break now. And um, pretty much everything has gotten a lot worse in the situation. So honestly, last week it wasn't extremely bad, but it was like bad enough that you really couldn't do much. I was just pretty much listening to uh, music on Spotify and uh, it was just pretty much some of my favorite um, artists that I was listening to like Little Uzi Vert, Juice World, X, uh, Trippy Red, um, like more people like that like Ski Mask um, just for some examples and I've been I, I, I wrote down in my journal um, well, I made a journal, like a little bit of a journal, um, just kind of, it's just called, uh, right now it's just called Jimmy's Thoughts, and, um, so I have my favorite rappers, so I have Trippy Red, X, Juice World, Ski Mask, um, Uzi, Little Skies, Boogie with the Hoodie, Lil Peep, um, YNW Melly and Playboy Cardi, and I don't know why, but they've they've just I, their music is amazing, and um, pretty much I I also made something that if I could find it um, I have it on my iPad I believe, but um, so I guess I think three out of my ten. Favorite artists have come out with a new album this year. Uzi came out with two, um, uh, a boogie came out with one, and Trippy came out with one as well. And Trippy's dropping a, a rock album, believe it or not, later this year. So it's like a little new side of Trippy Red that I've never seen before. And he's always talked about that rock influenced him a lot. And all these artists that I've been listening to, rock has influenced them a lot. Juice World has been influenced, Uzi has been influenced, Trippy has been influenced, X has been influenced, Ski, like all of these artists that I've listened to that are my favorites have pretty much been influenced. But so also, Juice World is dropping an album, well, not him personally, because sadly he passed away in December. And so he's dropping. It's like not a post humanist album because he finished the album and it was supposed to be released before around his birthday, December 2nd, which it was, and then um, it just never dropped. So it's been in the works for a little bit and then Playboy Cardi is hopefully dropping a whole lot of red soon, which is his new album. I'm excited for that as well. And then Trippy Red is going to be dropping a new rock album as well. So. Hopefully uh, these will help me through this time right now, but um, I made a I made a Little thing called my fave hip-hop albums of 2020 and so we have Artist 2.0 by a boogie with the hoodie and I wrote I put down my top three songs So we have me and my guitar might not give up and numbers and honestly um, I just they, they're just amazing songs, and I don't know why, every time I listen to the album and those songs, it just, this feels like the first time I'm listening to the album, and all these artists I've listened to, I don't know why, but their music just seems timeless, and I could just go back to their music at any time, and it just, 
just hits the same every single time. And well, especially um, Uzi, when I listen to EXO Tour Life, it brings me back to 2017 when I first heard that song and Look At Me by X. Those two songs were huge when it was like second semester of grade nine. And I just remember going back to those times and just listening to, and to think about that, it's crazy how like three years later, even though Look At Me came out in like 2015, how just crazy how everything has changed. But um, the first song I heard by A Boogie With The Hoodie was Jungle, which was on Artist. And then he came out with, I believe, let's see, um, after, be, before Artist 2.0, there was three other albums. It, I believe it was um, The Bigger Artist, or, and then uh, International Artist, I believe. And then um, Hoodie Season, and then he came out with Artist 2.0. I'll just clarify this quickly. Uh, so we have the bigger artist. Uh, so Artist 2.0, our artist is the first album that I've ever heard from him, and it has 11 songs on it. And then, so the albums are Artist, the bigger artist, International Artist, Hoodie Season, and Artist 2.0. And Honestly, I don't know. He's he's just an amazing artist, and when when I been, I was waiting for Artist 2.0 for a while, and especially when it first came out on um, February 14th at midnight, I was listening to that right away, and I was just hopping on, it and I don't know. I just I it was amazing. And then the next album I put was A Love Letter to You for Deluxe by Trippy Red. And he came up with a love letter to you for um, back in, I believe it was November 21st or something like that. And then he came out with this album, February 21st. And it, honestly, it's it's an amazing album. So the, the my favorite songs on this on this album are "I Love You," "The Way," and "Koi." And they just they. The, it just gives me the old trippy vibes personally and it just shows pretty much who he is as an artist because sometimes he has hype songs like my favorite song by Trippy Red is Dark Knight Dumbo just because I don't know why every time I listen to the song it gets me hype but I also love his like more I guess emotional songs in a way and because it, it just shows his full potential and the first song I've ever heard by Trippy Red was Love Scars on A Love Letter To You. And then he followed up A Love Letter To You with, I believe, A Love Letter That You'll Never Get. And then which it had like a couple songs on there. And then it was A Love Letter To You 2. And then after that it was, I believe it was Life's A Trip or A Love Letter To You 3. And then, um... After A Love Letter to You 3, um, yeah, so it was Life's a Trip, which came out in the spring, and then A Love Letter to You 3 came out in the fall, and then um, after that, it was, the next year, it was Exclamation Mark, which was came out in 2019, which was, um, which a lot of, it's like a slept on album, not a lot of people like it, but personally, I like it. And then, so that came out in the spring of 2019, and then A Love Letter to You 4 came out in the fall. So he drops like two albums every year, roughly, and then he dropped A Love Letter to You 4 Deluxe, I guess the winner, just recently. And, and then I believe the Rock album released sometime in the summer is what I believe what will happen. <laughs> and uh, Trippy is just my favorite artist. I don't know why, but he can get me lit and get me in my feels sometimes, and I don't know, he's just an amazing artist. And then the next one I have on here is Eternal A Take, and Uzi was hyping up this album from day one back in 2018, and uh, I believe it was like 2019, he left pretty much everybody on red. He said, are you ready for Eternal A Take, and the, he got the crowd hyped, and then he dropped the mic and left. And there's kind of a bit of a, a bit of a dispute with his label and everything that happened with his label, but I'm so happy that it finally dropped, and that we can finally hear Eternal Take. And personally, 
My favorite songs on Eternal Take are Chrome Heart Tags, which Chief Keef actually made the beat, and Prices, which he sampled Travis Scott on there, and P2, which is the part two to um, um, EXO Tour Life. And I, every time I hear P2, it just it's just got the nostalgic feel. And the the first song, like I said, the first song was EXO Tour Life that I heard, which was on Love Is Rage 2. And he has a bunch of projects out there now, and which is crazy. And his first project was Love Is Rage, and then I believe he has like four others after that, and which is crazy. But and then um, here we go. <laughs> He dropped the Eternal Take Deluxe album a week after he dropped Eternal Take. And he was talking about um, Love vs. The World, which is Little Uzi vs. The World, which came out, I believe, in 2016. He's been talking about Love is Love vs. The World 2 for a little bit now, and that's pretty much what Eternal Take Deluxe is. So we received Love vs. The World 2, and my favorite songs off there are What's Up, Yes Sir, Ski, and Myron, and they are amazing, and I just love them. But yeah, so that's pretty much what's happened, and also on Netflix, my favorite show right now um, is On My Block, and I've watched it around five times, but... I still watch Murdoch every day, but On My Block has been amazing. But yeah, so, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna listen to music and just chill. So, it is now Thursday, and um, honestly, I've just been working on a little bit of things, but right now it is miserable outside, and it is... It's, well, it's not raining. It's just like a blah day, and so I have my Christmas lights on. I have my light over here on, and then I have these lights on. I don't know. It just gives makes my room a little bit cooler. But believe it or not, I have worked on a little bit of a single, and um, it's coming out tonight at midnight so pretty much Friday at midnight and so be on the lookout for that I'm gonna play a little bit of a snippet right now and um, it's probably one of my better songs that I have put out and if you guys check my Spotify or not my Spotify my SoundCloud I have my all ears EP my UFO single in 2019 Celtic Heritage EP Eye to Eye album in Rough World EP. That's the most recent one. And then the song is coming out tonight. And so um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Maybe I'll make another video explaining what the song is and why and everything about that and the whole meaning behind it and stuff like that. So without further ado, I'm going to play the song for you. But yeah, so that's all you get for now until tonight. If you guys enjoyed the little snippet, um, be sure to be on the lookout for that. And uh, if you guys heard something in the beginning, it is probably what you heard. And because I did do something at the beginning of what some producers do. And um, yeah, so it, 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 it's probably one of the best songs that I've made and it doesn't have lyrics because I can't rap or sing or anything so I'm more like a producer I guess that's making music and other stuff like that so they're all instrumentals and actually besides my All Ears album or EP which I made in 2017 which is 
probably not the greatest that I've ever made, but you start some, you know, you have to start somewhere, and then I just, everything, I, I think Rough World is probably the better, is probably the one, of, actually, I'd actually Celtic Heritage, these three ones are probably my best bodies of work so far, and then my new song will probably be up there as well, but, um, yeah, so I don't know what else I'll be doing, but I guess I'll catch you guys then. Now, my video is pretty much done, and so this video will be going up, well, it's 3.07 right now, so sometime later today before my uh, um, song, so... Be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited. It'll also be up on my YouTube page uh, at the same time, 12 midnight. And so, yeah. But pretty much, I haven't actually made a vlog since two months, which is actually kind of crazy. So, hopefully over this break, I'll be making more videos and other stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, I'd pretty much like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys, be subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. See Savage Bonds. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.